The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past is not only one of the greatest games ever made, but one of the most important and influential releases of all time. By utilizing the power of the new Super Nintendo hardware, Nintendo took the Zelda series into new territory while simultaneously establishing what would for roughly the next 25 years be referred to as the Zelda formula, a blueprint for making timeless and enduring games. A Link to the Past takes the best elements from its two predecessors, The Legend of Zelda and Zelda II The Adventure of Link, and fuses them together, but it doesn't stop there. Shigeru Miyamoto and his team bring the world of Hyrule to life in a way previously unseen. Inhabitants aren't restricted to caves, but rather live in homes and have their own stories. Kakariku Village, which would become a staple of the series, is first seen in Hyrule with all its quirky residents. It is just one of the many rich new elements that create a wonderful atmosphere that makes A Link to the Past feel so special. Previously, all narrative content in a Zelda game was restricted to a single text paragraph in the title crawl and some backstory in the instruction manual. While these help the imagination of the player, A Link to the Past takes things further by providing a comprehensive backstory following the title screen sequence. However, unlike its predecessors, narrative elements deliver morsels of story right from the first moment you begin the game. As you progress through your adventure, new developments occur to motivate you onward, and coupled with the more vibrant inhabitants and their plot lines, it feels like you are playing in an actual living world that you care about. The sense of freedom captured so well in the past entries remains largely intact while exploring this newly realized Hyrule. Narrative developments and clearly marked objectives provide an overall outline of your ultimate destination, but the path you take to get there is still very much dependent on choice. This isn't so much the case in the early goings, but about a third of the way through your adventure, the game really opens up and provides you a greater degree of freedom in what tasks you want to complete. Never mind the fact that there are plenty of secrets and optional secondary activities that provide plenty of incentive to strike out and explore the vast reaches of the world. Some provide new story insights into your journey, while others provide rare items as a reward for your troubles. You might even come across a minigame or two that will speak the loudest to those with a penchant for gambling. A Link to the Past elevates the task of finding dungeons and completing them beyond deciphering cryptic clues and burning down random bushes. NPCs provide context and direction that more naturally leads you to conclusions about your objectives. This formula of having to complete tasks and interact with characters to discover the location and means to enter the next dungeon not only influence every single game that has come after, but countless other series as well. Whereas before, dungeons merely had a unique color scheme in addition to increasingly more difficult enemies, they were mostly devoid of a real theme. A Link to the Past changes this for the better by instilling atmosphere and utilizing superior designs to craft unique dungeon experiences that would not only resonate throughout the remainder of the franchise, but become one of Zelda's most enduring traits. Whether it was trying to figure out the complex puzzle of the Chilly Ice Palace, fighting off hopelessness in Misery Mire, or being shocked at the plot twist of Gargoyle's Domain, A Link to the Past dungeons left their unforgettable mark. <laughs> A Link to the Past also started the tradition of finding a unique item in the dungeon that was then needed to complete the dungeon, and often served as a useful instrument in defeating their masters. Previous entries had items within dungeons that were needed to progress in the world, and through parts of certain dungeons, but they weren't typically as integral to the design of a dungeon as they were in A Link to the Past. The game even pushes the notion of puzzles further than what was previously seen by introducing obstacles with solutions that require interaction with multiple rooms and, in rare cases, multiple floors. A hallmark of a truly legendary game is that it is not only praised at the time of its release, but still commands respect long after. A Link to the Past is revered even to this day because of how influential it has been to both the Zelda series and countless others. The notion of exploring two interconnected worlds, a light and a dark world, may not have first originated in A Link to the Past, but it is hard to deny it was the first game to popularize the design choice. Many games in the years since embrace this trope, whether it be future installments of Zelda or entries in other well-known franchises. The soundtrack for A Link to the Past is fantastic and helps cement the atmosphere of exploring Hyrule. Many of the series' prominent tunes first originated with this game, including, but not limited to, the soothing, tranquil melody of Kakariku Village.
the captivating jingle played when drawing the Master Sword. And the majesty of the theme that kicks in when storming Hyrule Castle. A Link to the Past also marks the first time we hear the iconic tracks for Princess Zelda and Ganon's theme. Not only does this game sound good, but it looks good too. Only a year into the release of the Super Nintendo, A Link to the Past boasts wonderful visuals that help bring the world of Hyrule to life. Enemies and characters are seen in greater detail than before, and the distinct look and feel of each area and dungeon further immerses you into this wonderful world. The legacy of A Link to the Past is unquestionable. The fundamental structure of the game serves as the core fabric interwoven into every single Zelda game. It is the definitive 2D Zelda experience, one of the best traditional Zelda games alongside Ocarina of Time, and still holds up as a masterpiece even to this day. May the way of the hero lead to the Hall of Greats.